Kate, would you grab that holiday stick that fell down our chimney? Show it off in front of the camera. We've got to light this Christmas tree before we get started. Let it snow. We can talk about the ABCs. We can learn about the one, two, threes. It's all about you and me having fun. Good morning, boys and girls, mommies and daddies. Welcome to RME's Music Lab. Happy Fun Fun Friday! Woo! Yeah, all right. We are here to party and have some fun. We've got a really fun show for you. I'm excited about it. We've got some fun blues lyrics to kick off the show, celebrating the one-year anniversary of losing Miss Kate and I's pup. Mr. Huckleberry, she wrote some blues lyrics about Huckleberry uh, in the beginning of Music Lab called Bad Mama Blues, where mama gets mad. Yeah, and they're great. We're going to play those. It is an honor to play some music from the legendary Lonnie Brooks, who I had an awesome opportunity to be in his band, and he showed me just like Ellis, everything I know, but just uh, a hair of what he knew. Legendary, larger than life. We'll get to Lonnie Brooks soon, but we're going to attempt to play some of his songs. Today is his birthday. I love it. Today is Huckleberry's birthday. Today is a bunch of people's birthdays that we know. My cousin Matthew. Uh, let's see. One of Nora. Miss Kate's super best friends. All red. Miss Nora? Yes, so we're here just to celebrate and party. If you're new to the program or you've been here since the beginning, jump in the chat, say hello. Let's get some good interaction for Fun Fun Friday. Let me know what you're doing the Friday before Christmas. Do we got to do Christmas shopping, right? What's going on? Do we got to get hams and turkeys all spiced up and ready to go? What are we doing, right? We got a weekend coming up. Anybody going out and doing some caroling, right? Is everybody just staying indoors? How are we doing this? So, all right, I very much appreciate it. Um, let's get rolling. Yes, I see Mama Sharon. We got Mr. Ben here. Hey, and Mr. Nelson, good morning to you. Ho, 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 my friend. Absolutely. All the rest of you out there, jump in the chat. Let's say hi. But we are going to start the show off with Miss Kate doing the Bad Mama Blues. Hello. Hello. I see you've got some show and tell today. I do. I like your, uh, you've got to explain your, uh, your, your deer antler horns. Well, here. these belonged to Huckleberry, and we made him wear them every Christmas. He's a very good sport about it. And just because I'm a proud mama, this is what our Huckleberry looked like. He was a sweet boy. The He's sweetest. So pretty. The sweetest. He would have been 12 today. 12 years old. So I wrote this song for him, and they're true stories. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Okay. <laughs> uh, yep, yep, that's how we're going to do it. All right. Mm -hmm. No, no. Yep. Go ahead. Okay, I got it. It's okay. been a while. So mad she couldn't 
couldn't see it straight. She found out what I did. And now I gotta take my fate. See, I found that dead squirrel. It done rolled all up and around. And now I stink so bad. She's howling all over town. running wild and then I couldn't see straight I got caught up in that bush and my fur was covered in birds and now I'm a sticky icky dog and my mama's gotta clean me for hours I got those mad mama blues yeah I got those mad mama blues uh, get a cocoa cake she's Taylor. got those red eyes so mad so mad she couldn't see straight cause she found out what I did and now I gotta take my see I found that dead squirrel done rolled up and around and now I sink so bad she's howling all over town I got those mad So much, Hucky. Miss Kate Coco Taylor, the queen of the Quad City Blues, baby. <laughs> Jenny, watch out. That's right. Oh, I can't, I can't mess with Jenny, who also had a birthday yesterday. That's right. Like Jenny, birthday. girls, happy, happy bluesy birthday. Yeah. How exciting. Those, yeah, she's the best. We love Jenny so much. So, all right. Well, there you go. Huckleberry. We could spend all 30 minutes just talking about how amazing he was. He was the best dog in the world. He was a big old dog, but he was just a boob. <laughs> that was it. He just looked at you with those eyes. He was the best dog. Yeah, he was the best. So, all right, we got some more fun stuff. Hey, Mr. Tony, good morning to you. Good to see you. You love Lonnie. Yeah, man. So, we're going to get right to it. Um, spend some time talking and try not to do too much. I fell in love with blues music in an early, the first movie I ever remember watching over and over and over again was The Blues Brothers at my grandmother's house in Missouri. She had two movies on VHS. One was Mannequin, one was The Blues Brothers. Um, I've seen it a billion times. Maybe that's why I love all types of music and the music that I'm into is because that movie is full of soul and blues and gospel music. I mean, you got Ray Charles and James Brown and Aretha Franklin and you've got the whole entire Memphis Horns hanging out. When those guys put that band together, they grabbed the best musicians in the world from Memphis, right? Stax Records, my favorite record label. I wonder why. Um, so that music hit me. Gradu bounced around the country, graduated from high school. Uh, I went to Chicago 
And next thing you know, I was there for 10 years. I was in a Prince cover band. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah, yeah. And the keyboard player got the gig with Brooks. Said, you want to meet him? I said, I can't because I got a buddy coming over to watch football, old Mr. Von Villian, and I had a sick feeling in my stomach. Picked up the phone, he said, I thought so. He came, picked me up. I introduced to Lonnie Brooks in the band, got to see the show. That night, Lonnie Brooks walked through the crowd for his encore. Uh, walked right to the very back, I was in the very back, and he gave me, you the guitar man? And I was like, yeah, he gave me his guitar. I freaked out, I was violently shaking, and I played guitar, and he pushed me through the crowd onto the stage, and he let me play his encore with him after that. And a couple weeks later, I got a phone call asking if uh, I wanted to be his guitar tech, they needed help. And a fill-in guitar player when his son, Wayne, he has two unbelievably talented sons, Ronnie Baker Brooks and Wayne Baker Brooks, when they're off on tour. Eventually got to play with Wayne too, and you know, Bernard Allison, really cool, but I got to hang out with Lonnie Brooks for more than 10 years. And I don't know what to say about it, except for, I'm everly, eternally grateful. Watching Lonnie perform gave me goosebumps every night. Lonnie had that thing that B.B. King has. You could watch all the most talented people on stage and you'll stand up and, and, and you'll love it, right? But when Lonnie Brooks played guitar or he opened his mouth and he started belting out his massive vocal, you only heard a talent that was one out of everybody in the world and he just dropped you to your knees he had something so special that only brooks had so lonnie brooks what am i talking about he was born december 18th today 1933 in <laughs> i love it dubisson saint paris louisiana that's right uh, here is the first record he was on with alligator records Let, we're jumping the gun here right he learned how to play banjo from his grandfather, just picking it on his porch. Uh, heard T-Bone Walker and Gatemouth Brown, um, who he became great friends with later, but and fell in love. Taught himself how to play guitar. Really impressive. And this is at an early age. Crazy impressive. Um, he was hanging out on his porch, playing guitar one day. And who goes walking by? Clifton Schneer, right? Hey, Zydeco legend number one, the first face on that Mount Rushmore, just walking by, hey man, you play pretty good, come join the band, travels around with Clifton Chenier, unreal, and then he moved to Texas, changed his name to Guitar Junior, and he wrote massive hits, uh, the, a song called Family Rules, which is still, you know, it's in the, all the Hall of Fames down there, and a song called The Crawl, which was a massive hit, and he moved to Chicago um, in 1960 with Sam Cooke. They decided to get out of the South, head north for some opportunity music-wise, and it worked for both of them. Um, let's see, he was a sideman up here with Jimmy Reed, the legendary, unbelievable godfather of the Lumpty Lump, Jimmy Reed. And uh, Brooks is on Jimmy Reed's Live at Carnegie Hall, right? That's a staple album in the blues. And uh, there you go, 1978, Alligator Records. He was on this with uh, some amazing, amazing people. You got Larry Bell, you got Pine Top Perkins and Lonnie Brooks. There's a song on here, Two-Headed Man. It changed the course of the blues with Brooks's Swamp, Louisiana voodoo soul mixed with Chicago blues. That's what made Brooks, Brooks and separated from the rest. After that, Bayou Lightning. Right? You got Voodoo Daddy, Figurehead, Watchdog, Breakfast in Bed, In the Dark, Worked Up Woman, Alimony, uh, What You Got, I Ain't Superstitious, Know What My Body Needs. Every song on here is a hit, not bad for his first album. And he's just, look at that lightning out of his guitar. It's the truth. Show and tell is fun. I only have a few of his albums on vinyl. Turn On The Night, unbelievable. This guy was great. Yeah, look at old Bob back there. All right, so many great. And the unbelievable Bayou Lightning Strikes, Lonnie Brooks Live. He's standing next to his son, Ronnie, in this picture. This album cooks, right? What do you want for Christmas, everybody? Get this, uh, yeah, and get Bayou Lightning Strikes. There you go, show and tell's done. So, let's go way back to the 50s here and see if we can play 
One of Brooks' first hits is Guitar Jr., which he had to change his name in Chicago because there was another guy named Guitar Jr. So, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> question you got a question yes miss kate is there an actual dance move called the crawl that we can dance to you know we can uh, i mean that's the whole thing the dance we can uh, look up the crawl the dance in texas that's the thing all this stuff's in texas everything's bigger in texas of course there's a dance so yes i mean it's not like a crab lock that would be that would be too hard right no yeah i mean you gotta you, you gotta you know, wiggle to the right, then you gotta wiggle to the left, then you wiggle in the middle, and then you just party at night over the crawl, baby. Yeah. So, I mean, there's a lot of meanings to that song, too. So, there you go. There you go. Take that as it will. Okay, so the crawl. Oh, man. Uh, his guitar, I mean, there's so many songs I wish I could do. But Lonnie Brooks had this just southern Louisiana backbeat. Ah, here you go. He is inducted into the Texas Blues Hall of Fame, the Louisiana Blues Hall of Fame, the Illinois, the Chicago Blues Hall of Fame, the Blues Hall of Fame. And what's really cool is when I was with him, uh, Lonnie played the Chicago Blues Fest, which to me is my Woodstock. Uh, if I could ever play a gig, what would it be? Well, this is it. I've been lucky to have been there twice and play. And what an opportunity. And the, the first time I was with him, the mayor of Chicago came out, right? Oh, Mayor Daly. And he declared that day, Lonnie Brooks Day, for every day for eternity in Chicago. How cool is that? He got the key to the city. Like, he got his own day, right, in Chicago. Super cool. So, all right. This song... Is called Watchdog. It's hilarious. Uh, man, the guy could tell some stories, so we'll see how this goes.
but a watchdog. Your little brother ain't nothing but a watchdog. Yes, he follows everywhere you go. Tells everything he knows. He's a watchdog. Yeah, I take you to a place out tonight. He lingers out back, makes you feel real right. Yeah, your little brother ain't nothing but a watchdog. Yeah, follows everywhere we go. Tells everything he knows. He's a watchdog. from here to uh, here it's just unbelievable so it's hard to sing a song I love it but man we need to do more of this more Lonnie Brooks days so this flew by I did a lot of talking today but rightfully so honor and Lonnie Brooks and honor and Huckleberry right it's a big deal he's an absolute legendary human being and as massive and important as he was to music Lonnie was a better guy. He cared more about himself than he, uh, or sorry, <laughs> yes, he cared more about other people than he did himself. And it showed. Um, I'm forever grateful. Man, this is my guy right here. This is my buddy. Man, we used to spend hours on the phone together. Just, I miss him every day. So, all right. I guess we're going to wrap that up here. So thank you so much. I appreciate it. We're going to be back Monday. Uh, next week, let's talk about that. We got Christmas coming up. So I think we're going to take Christmas off. But I want to do a very special Christmas Eve show. Let's just rock some Christmas carols. Let's do it together. Have some fun. Um, yeah, there's going to be a lot of Christmas explosion next week, everybody. So Monday through Thursday, 10 to 1030. Let's hang out. And uh, all right. Have a wonderful weekend. I very much appreciate it. If you want to support the River Music Experience or find out what's going on, you can always go to rivermusicexperience.org slash donate. Go, uh, you know, live music's canceled for now, but we'll be back. we got our Winter Blues Camp coming up. We can't get together and play music, but we have a three two-hour workshops the week after Christmas, Monday through Wednesday, with some awesome blues musicians. 
We've got Chris Avey, Rick Burris, and Hal Reed. We're going to get into the nitty gritty of what the blues is, where it came from, who it came from, who are the influences of these unbelievable special guests we have. So it's going to be really fun and insightful. So if you know any adults or kids who want to join this, all right, come on and let's do it. So, okay, enough Gavin. Have a wonderful weekend. We love you. All right. Thanks for watching. If you want to help support River Music Experience and other programs like Music Lab, visit rivermusicexperience.org slash donate.